Hello. Did that work? <laughs> I don't know if that worked or not. I just wait. Um. Hello. Okay, we've got sound. <laughs> I just needed to check. Okay, the internet on my place is really bad, so um, hopefully it doesn't lag. But with that said, welcome everybody to another live stream. Uh, and let's go back. We got hello, Thomas McNeil, Natasha Tukey. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you, Natasha. How are you? Mr. Morgan. Hey, oh, you already saw on Twitter, so you know what it is then, and so does Natasha. Hi, Eleanor Hunt and Amy McFeegan and Charlotte Arnold. Hello. Uh, Charlotte Clayton. Never clicked so fast. Oh, I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> um, Kieran Meharbon. Meharbon. I'm sorry if I've just like really got your name wrong, but hi. How are you doing? And Captain Cruiser. Hi, Joe. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thanks, Captain. Um, oh, LCFC boy. You know as well. That was the big news, which I kind of put on Twitter earlier as well, so a lot of people already know. But, um, okay, so yeah, let's just get into that. The big news of the live stream, which has kind of already been announced. But yeah, um, I am going back to the dumping ground for one episode. Or is it two? I should know this. <laughs> well done, Joe! Uh, okay. Uh, no, I think it's two episodes, but the second one, I think I leave right at the beginning. Or, anyway. Um, so, yeah. There is a link in the description to BBC iPlayer where you can watch a trailer for the new series, or the new half of a series, for The Dumping Ground. And at the end of the trailer, you see a few familiar faces including this one <laughs> so uh that's kind of exciting and i'm excited for you all to see it and you get to see me in my army gear and i'm really excited for that although apparently um i was wearing the beret wrong um i showed someone at work today and they were like you're not wearing that beret right i was like oh damn so yeah that's a little bit embarrassing that's awesome man. oh cheers johnny and hey hi long time no see <laughs> Hi, Bex Hara. Oh. Hi, Bex Hara. Long time no see. How are you doing? Oh, I thought you were... I'm sorry. Never mind. There's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you moving out of the corner of my eye. I thought you were trying to tell me something. <clears throat> Hi, Joe. How are you? I hope I'm not late. Oh, Kelsey, do you know what? It's three minutes past eight, and we start at eight, so I mean three minutes. We, we, the, the live stream's almost over, to be honest. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you're not late. Good news, Joe. Cheers, Jack. I love the show so much, I never want it to end. Well, it, it might never. I don't know. You'd have to speak to the producer about that. But. Good news, Joe. Cheers, Jack. <laughs> How was your week, Joe? It was pretty good, Katarina. Um, it was all right, thank you. I can't remember what I did, but I'm sure it was good. How about you? How are you this week? I'm very good, thank you. Thomas McNeil, how are you? Mm, Courtney knows me, it's Perry. Does Courtney know anyone called Perry? I got a message. Oh, do you know Perry? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> get Jack's tea. Wait, no, no. Get Joe's tea. Jack, you need to get my tea. If you're watching this, which I think you are because you just commented, so just saying, Jack, you owe me a tea. I hope you appreciate my comments. I do, Captain. Thank you. Um, I, I actually really do. Whenever people say that they like the show, it's always, I don't know, good to know that we're making something that people enjoy watching. Mm -hmm. Hashtag bring Joe tea. Everyone, let's get that trending on Twitter. <laughs> so, seriously, let's, let's get it trending on Twitter. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> we should do an overnight live stream like a sleepover. I mean, the majority of that live stream would look like this. So, uh, I'm not sure how well that would go down. <laughs> Hashtag Joe needs tea now. Yes, I'm liking these hashtags. 
Hashtag bring Joe T. Hey Joe, it's me again. Hello, Moon Gaming. How are you doing? And the Striker 10. Hello, I am not late, am I? No, I'm pretty sure I've seen you come in. Anyway, Striker. Yeah, no, you're here. Hi. Oh, here we go. Hello, Joe. Shout me out. The Striker 101. No, 10. The other one I made up. I'm sorry. Exploding bacon. What do you call an acid with an attitude? Amino acid. I get it. Amino acid. Hey, um, a scientist and his friend walk into a bar and they, they don't want to drink. They just wanted a glass of water. So the scientist says, uh, please, can I have some H2O? And then the scientist's friend was like, oh, I'll have some H2O too. And his friend died. Yeah. I'll just let you sit with that one for a while. Do you get it? <laughs> Good. Well, don't laugh too loudly. Who is with you? Um, Courtney may or may not be sat down here. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. She's watching the live stream on her phone. <laughs> a ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. Bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, has he confirmed he's back in it? Hi, the lost boy. Um, Johnny Taylor returns for one episode or two. I think it's two episodes. I need to sort this out. But if you look at the trailer in the description, which I've left a link to, you'll catch a glimpse. And it really is like a glimpse. But you'll see. <laughs> Sorry to sound rude, but who is Courtney? Are you having a laugh? Uh, she's been on the stream before. Courtney is my girlfriend. Poor girl. Poor, poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> You're supposed to say, no, I'm really lucky. No, I'm really lucky. <laughs> oh, bless. Uh, oh, Natasha says hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, so it's all filmed and ready to go. It is indeed. Um, I don't know when it's airing, though, the episode. So... I guess if I find out, I shall let you know on the live stream. You'll, you guys will be the first to know. If a king farts, is it a noble gas? British gas. <laughs> oh, it's British gas. That's a good one. A British king, when it feels like Simba. Simba doesn't fart. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Joe, how are you? How come you're coming back to the dumping ground for one episode? Well, that would be telling, Thomas Hodson. Um, I can't really explain what the story was because um, as much as it's been announced on the trailer that I'm back for the episode, I don't think they'd be too happy if I said what the episode was about. So I'm going to keep quiet on it for now. But you'll make sense. No, it'll make sense. <laughs> I make science jokes periodically. <laughs> A British Kingsman. Jack's obsessed with Kingsman at the moment. Um, oh yeah, he came, he came ring dressed with a suit and a walking stick one time. That was funny. But yeah, he's a bit sad because he's only 14 and you, you have to be 15 to see it at the cinema. So it's like, oh my God. It's like the same as it. Hi, Courtney. Katarina says hi as well. Hi. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I saw Electra T and Johnny. But is Gus and Frank returning? Um, if you haven't seen it in the trailer, then I don't know how much I'm supposed to like say. But yeah, the people who are in the trailer are definitely back at least. <laughs> Should Jack make tea? Dad, that is the best suggestion you've come up with all night. Uh, and Courtney's saying that she wants a coffee with no sugar. So, Jack, you got a job to do. Also, why coffee? Because it's tea. We have tea on the live stream. Um, <laughs> no. Um, oh dear. Um, mm. um, <laughs> the name is Bond. Ionic Bond. 
No, Jack will poison you. That's a good point. Jack will probably try putting mushroom in it or something. <laughs> not funny. It's not funny! <laughs> uh, Frank's definitely back because he's in the trailer, isn't he? You see him taking a picture. I think. That's the right trailer. Oh, I've got a leaky nose. Can I have a shout out from both of you, please? Right, Courtney, on the count of three, you got to shout, hi, Kelsey. Right. One. Two. Three. Hi, hi Kelsey! It's <laughs> a good one. <laughs> um, how long is it between when you film it and when it goes on TV? That is a very good question. Um, I filmed it last summer, like over a year ago now. That's kind of crazy. If you look back to the vlogs, um, if you look back through my old vlogs, um, you know the vlog where I first got my car? That was just after I got back. So that's kind of like how long ago it was. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. Passed my driving test on Wednesday. Scariest thing I've ever done is drive on my own for the first time. Charlotte Evans, congratulations! And I totally agree with you. When I first passed my test and I was like in the car on my own, I was terrified. Um, but yeah, touch wood, I've never crashed yet. <laughs> that doesn't, uh, if that doesn't put confidence in you, I don't know what does. <gasps> Katerina Krakovich, can you both sing the Gina song? I was, I was explaining the Gina song to Courtney earlier. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll sing it and then you've got to finish it by going, you do, you do, you do. Okay? Yeah, that's it. I don't know. You do know, I just told you. Okay. Okay, right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Gina, you're fantastical. Your style's intergalactical. Gina, you dance just like a dream. You do, you do, you do! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. Well done. You're that welcome. Was, that was beautiful. <laughs> may I have a shout out please from both of you Charlie is a bear you sure you sure may we're going to shout out Charlie on the count of three. One, two, three. hi Charlie <laughs> and Jack just come comment saying <laughs> Courtney did you know the dumping ground before you met Joe uh, slightly. Slightly? Yeah. You knew of it? Yeah, I knew of it and I watched a few. <laughs> I bet you watched them all. <laughs> um... No, you didn't. <laughs> uh, is that a James Bond photograph or award on your top shelf? Ah, oh, I got that from um, Sci-Fi Scarborough. It's not an award. Um, I bought it. But it is James Bond and it's quite cool. It's supposed to be like sticky so that it can go on your wall, but the stickiness ran out. So, oh my god. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's my James Bond thing. Ah, there we go, it sticks. That's gonna, that's gonna fall off at some point in the live stream and really scare me. <laughs> Jack Burroughs. Jack, bring Joe tea. Oh, Jack, bring Joe some tea. Jack, get on it. Oh, and Natasha's just one up to it. Jack, bring Joe and Courtney tea. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Look on Twitter, Joe. Oh, go on then, Natasha. I have to do everything around here. <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. I say it all the time. <laughs> Do you have something you have kept from Johnny to show us that you haven't shown before? Do you know what? Maybe I do. Okay, Courtney, could I ask you a massive favour? <gasps> Maybe. Could you sit in this chair for like 10 seconds while I run and grab something? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you actually? I'm really sorry to do this to you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just like tell some jokes or sing a song or something. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, I'll be two seconds. I'm but just gonna go get this thing. And now, by the magic of 
There, you can sit on it. Yes! <laughs> right, I'll be two seconds. Um, hi! <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know how to do this. Ah, oh, Jack, bring Joe tea and Courtney coffee. That sounds better. I don't really like tea. To be fair, but shh, don't tell Joe. But Jack's just commenting, so it doesn't look like he's making any. Sing Jingle Bells, it's not Christmas yet. Hi. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Jack. Can I make a wig out of your hair? Oh, no. I can tell you which hair dye it is. It's live, and it's called Mystic Violet. But you can't have my hair. I'd cry. Courtney's favourite season. <laughs> have you been watching the video? Where put them. He's forgot where he's put them. Hi, Jack Burrows. Hi Kelsey. Hazmat, yes, um, hair dye is live, Mystic Violet. You can get it from any super drugstore. Put mushrooms in his tea. Oh no, don't. He didn't like it last time. Charlie is a bear. Can I ask, why are you a bear? Is a bear your favourite animal? Because the second name is Bean. Right. And the Bean is one that I wrote from being bear. I remember. Right, George right. told me. Right, you can have his chair back I've got a few bits and pieces <laughs> to show you. So you best be well excited. Right. right. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, what are you wearing? I wore his Johnny as well. <laughs> Do you find Joe funny at all? Do I find Joe funny? And if you say funny looking, I'm going <laughs> to cry. Funny looking? No! Uh, so first off, the hoodie that Courtney was wearing, I wore as Johnny. Can't remember when, but I did. So there's that. And then, I was looking for um, somewhere. I've got the shoes that I wore in the very first season. They were like... Um, purpley type of colour, they were a bit like Converse's, but then in the second series, I actually got some Converse's, so these are my shoes from like the second or third series, um, they let me keep them and I was so happy because I love Converse. And then, there's this, which is the t-shirt I wore in the very first series, you know the little, ha, ah, look, wait, there, it's this t-shirt, do you see? Hi. <laughs> I remember that t-shirt. Yeah, and this is perhaps one of the most interesting pieces. I've made you coffee. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, look, <laughs> that's like the script, one of the scripts. Um, I hope there's no like... Okay. <laughs> I've got any like contact details on there that someone will like tell me off for putting on the internet. But it looks like we're all good. So yeah, scripts and stuff. Um, I've got loads of bits and pieces oh, to be fair. Look what I just found. What did you just find? I don't know, I just lost them. Oh, mini glasses. glasses! Oh, uh, can I have them please? They're so cute. Thank you. Um, they were from, have you seen the video I did, the little crochet people? Yeah. They were in a pack that the lady gave me to do them with. Oh wow, this looks like them. <laughs> oh, that would be Daniel's. I went through like a phase of like, um, what was it called? <gasps> a cup with no handle. Yeah, you know, like how um, like Chinese people drink tea. It's hot. Yeah. Oh wait, I had a minute idea. Excuse me. Are you putting glasses on Link? Yeah, I am. I mean, on Zelda. <laughs> you know where the door is. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was horrible. I'm sorry, can you forgive me? Yeah. Ah, good. Um, I'm not even listening to the comment. Uh, if it's all right with you, can I meet with you in Scarborough? Um, I'm not sure what to say to that. Uh, when and where? I'm in Bradford tomorrow, unfortunately. Hey. Not unfortunately, you know what I mean. Uh, I've never played Zelda before. Movie making media. Paige is watching. 
Is Paige watching? Hi Paige. I wanna come say hi. Oh, okay. Hi Paige, have fun at uni. Uh, Says she commented. Oh look, where's Carl? Oh Paige Miller. Hi. Ah. Uh, the glasses aren't going on. I'm just sat on the floor. You can sit here if you want. No. I didn't do such a good job at the live stream. <laughs> did you not? I did not have to say. I'm going to rewind and watch it back the bit that you were on. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't do it. Glasses aren't going on. <laughs> Joe has never played Splatoon 2 before, so he can't complain about you not playing Zelda. Hmm. If you want to see my Zelda Link jacket, please check Twitter. Oh, I meant to check Twitter for Natasha as well. Ah, hashtag bring Joe tea. <laughs> oh, wow, Kelsey, that's cool. Kinda jealous. Kinda jealous. <laughs> It says, show my nails. <laughs> See your nails? Courtney went to have her nails done today. <laughs> it's, it's nearly as good as mine. Look. Oh, they're beautiful. I like them. <laughs> That's how you get them like that. Don't trust atoms. They make up everything. <laughs> Dad or Jack, thank you and everything, but the, the tea needs more milk in it. <laughs> <laughs> but as as Thomas McNeil accurately put, Joe's got tea. Thank you, Thomas. Daniel Tukey the biscuit. Biscuit. Daniel Tukey. You you you're singing my tune. You're you're talking my language. It was I, I meant assessment then. <laughs> It really does need more milk in it. <laughs> and mushrooms and chocolate and pepper and tea. Now, you see, movie making media, that, that's not my language. You, you, no. Mm. Your panto this year, is it in Newcastle? No, it's in Bolton. I don't even know where Bolton is. So, that's going to be interesting. I'll have to find out, obviously. Daniel's being weird. <laughs> Oh, he's not. He's suggesting biscuits. That's like, you know, that's not weird at all. That's acceptable. We need biscuits. I agree with Daniel. That was my cousin. She's hijacked my computer. Oh, yeah, right. Beautiful nails, Joe. Oh, thanks, Natasha. They're not bad, are they? Mm -hmm. Kidding, they're terrible. I can do that for you. Do you know what? I'm good. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> we still mean to do the uh, gymnastics video. I keep on meaning to do it. Huh. Joe, you haven't answered my question, and I want to know the answer. I asked you four times. Oh, I'm sorry. I've not seen it. Uh, is it true that this is the last series of The Dumping Ground? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not the right person to ask. But I don't think it is. Surely not. I honestly don't know. Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't very helpful, was it? Hazmat! I thought you were my friend. I'm getting a female Cocker Spaniel pup in five weeks. Nice! Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I like how that's coming. What, Joe equals and then... Uh... <laughs> See, you're even doing the face that he's put. Gonna need something stronger than tea. Oh. Ian Pavlov walks into a bar. The bartender rings the bell for the last drinks and he thinks, damn, I forgot to feed the dog. I don't get it. That one's probably too clever for me. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Who's Ian Pavlov? 
Excuse me, everyone. Me and upload. Pavlov's dogs. Simple psychology. Oh, I actually told you that. It's a thing that they did on children to see about the FMI. And instead, you want, you've got me on <laughs> Wikipedia. Pavlovian conditioning. Pavlov started from the idea that there are some things that a dog does not need to learn. Dogs don't need to learn to salivate whenever they view the reflexes hardwired into the dog. In behaviour is turned on. Wow, that sounds so boring. I'm not going to Basically, they did a test on dogs to see if they could like, stop them drooling on the ear, ear and stuff. And then use that to see if they could do it with children and train them to look at the hair. Right. Simple. Did it work? No, it's just psychology, isn't it? It's like, whether you believe it or not. I've seen Jack. I don't think it worked. <laughs> in school, I have to... I have got a part in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I am Charlie! Nice! Well done, Eleanor. And good luck. Break a leg. I hope it goes well. The trailer looks so emotional, that's why I, what I always loved about it. It's funny and crazy, but it has a lot of heart. I think old people can like. Uh, the Lost Boy, I agree. One of the things I always loved about Tracy Beaker Returns and the dumping ground was that we got some pretty good storylines on it. Um, it didn't feel like it was all just kind of like food fights and clowning around. It felt more like there was some really good stuff. Oh, yeah. Halloween. When's it Halloween? Natasha's cooking, I can't wait for Halloween. I'll see what my friends and I will get chased by this time. <laughs> oh, I've just seen that one as well. Oh, is it buffering? <laughs> Excuse me, I just hiccuped and burped at the same time. It's kind of gross. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. Ah! Mm -hmm. Told Courtney about the killer clown. Oh, uh, Kelsey on the live stream last year when the killer clowns were out. Apparently, there was one hanging around outside the house. Oh, nice. Mm. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. If you watch the live stream and ask me for advice, she asked you for advice. Yeah. What are you going to do? Tell her to keep all the doors locked. Pretty sound advice, <laughs> to be fair. Um, and it got pretty dark. Lily falling off the roof, Faith getting hit by a car, Dragon Slayer. Yeah, it did, to be fair. Um, Carmen almost falling off the bridge to a rock underneath. Mm. Yeah, you saw that one. Um, the script that you showed us, which one is it? Good question. It... I shall find out. Um, episode 8, Breaking In. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, no, it wasn't. This was, um, to be fair, I was hardly in this one. This was mainly Kazima and T, where um, they were like left home alone in the dumping ground because we were supposed to be going to a fun fair and burglars came. And we ended up going to this like community centre instead where there was a really bad mime act. I don't remember so well. <laughs> I love how you're so interactive with fans and actually remember stuff from ages ago that they tell you. See, I am good at remembering stuff. <laughs> you even get challenges different. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I, I don't know. I like to interact with you guys. That's why I enjoy doing the live streams on a Friday so much. Because it's a good way to kind of like talk to the people who watch the stuff that I make. And so, I don't know. It's nice to know what you all think of it. <laughs> May I have a shout out, please? Of course you can, Natasha. Hi, Natasha. <laughs> I never know how to do shout outs. I mean, how many live streams have I been doing? And I still like, I don't know. I never know what to do. <laughs> But yeah, in a way, I find trick or treating quite dangerous. I suppose if you knock on the wrong door, it could be. That would make quite a cool Halloween film, wouldn't it? 
you go trick or treating and then the person's like oh sure just come inside for a minute and then i'll get you the big ball of candy and then, like put a burlap sack over your head and then like drag you upstairs and you gotta escape uh, and now someone's going to use your idea copyrighted jomo 2017 <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. You're welcome, Natasha. Oh, wait. Oh, we got a pen. I got a pen. pen. Yeah. Ah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> My head is 18 centimeters. Great. Ah. Ah, thank I you. I got the pen. I got a pink at me. Thank you. Um. When do we get the weekly hug? Oh my god, we've not done the weekly hug for ages. Kind of like not really a weekly hug anymore because I forgot it for weeks. I just need to do this first quickly. Oh, that pen's not working. It's on the middle. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Teapot's in the live stream. Because <laughs> it's going to come on in a second. <laughs> Mine's really far behind. Ha ha! Huh? <laughs> 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 What's in there? Uh, I don't know. Guys, he, he needs a name. Hello! Hello! <laughs> I'm a 20 year old fan sat in my room with a guy drawn onto my finger. With small numbers. Obviously. He, well, you can't read without one. Is it one. Harry Potter? No, he's got a moustache. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, can you see what the glasses? is? He's got a moustache. Oh. Uh, yeah, so he needs a name. Anybody got any names for him? Rupert. I'm seeing Rupert. Call him Bob. So we've got Rob, Bob, Rupert, Bill. Johnny. Johnny. No. I love the episode breaking in. It was so intense and felt so real. Yeah, it was a quite, uh, it was a good one. I enjoyed watching it. To be fair, were all the survival files scripted as well, or did you get a chance to improvise those? They were scripted as well. I think. Um, I think it was more the case of like there was certain things that you had to say, but it didn't have to be word perfect. So there'd be like a guide on what you had to where the conversation had to go, but apart from that, it was like, do you know what I mean? Like there wasn't a set line where it had to be word perfect. It was just like, you'd be given an answer to the question and then call it and then say it, however. Am I making any sense? Edward the finger. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, I want to try a different one. Peter Pointer. Peter Pointer. That's quite a good one. Oh. Well, it was still a good one. <laughs> it's caught your left or right handed. I am right handed. Nah, right handed. More like wrong handed. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no. We got a new one. I should make like an entire hands worth. <laughs> Look. So you can sing the finger family song. No, I don't know it. Yeah. Actually, don't. Tommy Tom, Tommy Tom, no. I don't know it. I think you do, people. <laughs> <laughs> what is the something I need to tell you, or is it clickbait? Toby, how could you accuse me of doing clickbait? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you, you must have missed the beginning of the stream. I'm just saying. <laughs> so basically, um, if you click the link in the description to the BBC iPlayer, then you will see that there is a new trailer for the new series of The Dumping Ground. And at the end of said trailer, you may or may not see a familiar face. Because I'm back for an episode. Or two. So I'm not clickbaiting you. It's like... Uh, you know, I, I, I've already told you. <laughs> I'm not a clear beta.
The best people are left-handed. Natasha Tukey, left-handed, high five. No. Probably looked like a right-handed high five to you because the camera flips everything. But I promise that with my left finger, my left hand. Does that mean that I'm not a best person? Yeah, you are. I'll go. <laughs> but it'd be even better if you were left-handed. <laughs> can you at least write your name left-handed? Yeah. Can you? Shall I do it? You can show people. Don't know. Have we got any paper? Fine. I can go get some. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what, you write your name left-handed, and I'll try and write mine right-handed. Right. I'll go down no, left-handed. Right. <laughs> <No>, right. <laughs> mm. I've got something to tell ya. I've got something to say. Jack Marsh should be the next Red Power Ranger, Joe the Blue, and Courtney the Pink Ranger. Hmm. Uh, Futuristic Toby, gonna go watch it. See you in a minute. See you in a bit. Hope you enjoy it. Right-handed people are the best. Oh, well, this is just starting a, a war in the comments. I did not mean to do that. But I mean, like, Einstein was left-handed. Leonardo da Vinci was left-handed. I mean, they're, like, the two most cleverest people that have ever been in the world. And they're left-handed. I'm just saying. I bring paper! Yeah, you got it! I do! I got a pen! Okay, so first you gotta write with your, your normal hand so that we have something for comparison. Right. No man's left. No man's right. <laughs> Never get told, <laughs> does it? Right. Okay. So, we'll split the paper. <laughs> Left hand. <laughs> oh, but my name's longer. Right hand. <laughs> well, you only have to write your first name, but I'll write both my names. Right, okay. Right. Although, full disclosure, my handwriting is terrible even with my like, actual hand. Okay, <laughs> so I'll try it as neat as I can. He's got his tongue stuck out and everything. <laughs> Concentration face. Right, so that is my left hand, which is, it's not too bad. Right, now you do your right hand. My right hand. Uh-huh. Right hand's the best movie-making media. I agree. Mm. Polar bears are, le are, right, are left-handed, and as I always say in McDonald's, we have to save the polar bears. No. <laughs> right, okay, now I'll try it with my right hand. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> I don't even know how to hold the pen. <laughs> okay, excuse me. It's all wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> Oh dear, that's my right hand. Wait, where is it? It's it's not actually as bad as I was expecting, but I mean, my left hand's a bit smoother. There you go. Oh no. Oh, I'm, no. I'm going to have to do it down here so I can concentrate. Uh, oh, you need to concentrate? Yeah. The Diamond Crafter 22 forward slash cane. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Give me my witness, I mean, my left hand. Oh, yeah, you are. What was I checking on Twitter? <laughs> left handed or right handed? Natasha, I'm gonna have to vote left handed. I mean, come on. 100% left handed. Let's just leave it at that. Everybody stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> it's funny. It's called left to do with the devil. There we go. I don't think so. Let's have a look. <laughs> uh, that's not too bad either. 
Right, this time you got to write it quicker. So you just like pick up the pen and go. Oh no! I can't work. reach. <laughs> okay, right-handed. Let's try it. Do you want a pen that works? Yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there, that's that was fast. Do a bow. That's how you spell my name. Uh. No. <laughs> I once, I once um, put like I was drawing a picture, and when I signed it, I um, put an F on the end of my name because I thought it'd turn it into Joe Mouth, like Mouth. Oh wow! Bless. I was young, okay. Yeah, like yesterday. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I feel like a child again. <laughs> Maybe we should stick to our own hands. <laughs> okay. Right. Did you all enjoy that? <laughs> Joe, say Natasha backwards. Ah. Uh, San. And. Oh. Ah, Satan! Ah, Satan! <laughs> Say my name backwards. Yodge. <laughs> Yodge. Yodge. Call this live stream Left or Right Hands the official debate. But I've already called it a title. Actually, I can change it if you want. I've changed the title a lot during the live stream. Yay, I made it! Mr. Potter. And the first thing you say is handstand. Really? Mr. Potter. <laughs> Mr. Potter, do your best Snape impression. <laughs> I can't think of something for me to say first. Just say Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, you're just making an aeroplane. Courtney's scared of aeroplanes. Oh. Did you just put pen on my face? No. Did you just put pen on my face? I'll stand in the corner. <laughs> no, don't just stand in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> when you did the fight scenes with Liam in Tracy Returns, did you enjoy them? Also, please can you and Cartney give me a shout out, please? Okay, we've got to say Ngrank six four three. One, two, three. Hi, Ngrank six four three. And um the fights oh, you were drawing on my shirt then, I was like <laughs> Uh, the fight scenes were, they were all choreographed and stuff, so we never actually got injured. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Because uh, it was like, it felt like we were doing an action sequence. That was really cool. <laughs> Nobody puts Connor, Pete. Nobody puts Courtney in the corner. <gasps> Dirty dancing cut. Yeah, it's your third favourite non Disney film. <laughs> also, like, oh, I made so you an airplane. So you remember now you got egg on your head. <laughs> I made you an airplane. Are you scared of it? Yeah. Ah! Would you prefer it? I made you. Would you prefer it if I made you a boat that a clown could steal? <laughs> yeah, please. Where is it? Right hello, hello, Georgie. Hi, Georgie. That actually flew quite well. Where's the gymnastic video, Mr. Potter? I'm sorry, I meant to do it this week, but instead I ended up editing the human cake challenge. But the gymnastics video is coming, just when we have better weather, because it's been raining for the past few days. And I'm not doing another handstand, because it's bad for my hands. Ugh. How graceful. Joe, sure, say my name backwards. Right, are you ready? <coughs> my name backwards. I think everyone switched off. Okay. <laughs> All of the dislikes. No, I'm just kidding. Please don't. Uh, how do you say Charlie backwards? Elarch. Elarch. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, the on the oh dear. <laughs> that makes sense, to be fair. Uh, what socks are you wearing this live stream? Do you know what? I keep on meaning to get some really cool and exciting socks because I know you ask this every week. But at the moment, they're just kind of like red and black stripy ones. Should I show my socks? Yeah, because yours are cool. I don't, how do I 
your little socks. <laughs> I got a Lion King one. And I got one with little ears. Look. Your socks are a lot cooler than mine. <laughs> but there you go. I need some I need some cooler socks. You wear socks to bed? Who no. Um, <laughs> not that I've got anything against people who do wear socks to bed, but I d don't personally. I need to, I don't know, eat or all getting like way too hot. Say my name backwards. Uh, an, Aniratak. 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 That's quite cool. Aniratak. Despite all our banter joke, can I have a shout out? You sure can. Movie making media. MMM. Hi. Now say Trevor backwards. You might be surprised. Rob. Robert. Robert. <laughs> Gosh, I started to say my name backwards thing. Sorry, Joe. It's all right, Natasha. I'll forgive you just this once. Mr. Potter, I'm not doing the handstand. Handstands. You asked me to do a headstand before, and now it's handstand, and next you'll be asking me to do a triple somersault backflip. I'm not a gymnast. I'm sorry. I'm falling in my chair now. I'm back I know. <laughs> Do you like the music of Shaw Waddy Waddy? <laughs> I love the name. My mum went to see Shaw Waddy Waddy not long ago because they came to Scarborough. But I the songs myself. Favourite episode from the Dumping Ground Series 2? Uh, oh god, what happened in the Dumping Ground Series 2? I can't remember. <laughs> oh my god. What happened in Dumping Ground Series 2? I've actually forgotten. That's not good, is it? <gasps> uh, what were your favourite episodes? And then I'll tell you if I liked that one. There we go, that's a good idea. <laughs> no more handstands, they make me dizzy. Jack Burrows, thank you. Joe, say my name forwards. Thomas McNeil. I, I kind of coughed halfway through the middle. Thomas McNeil. That's what I meant to say. Not Thomas McNeil, which is what I said the first time. Do the handstand or I'll cry. You'll cry if I don't do a handstand. You need to sort out your priorities. That's a Harry Potter quote. Um, also, I've done the handstand for two live streams running. I don't want it to become like a thing put my foot down and not my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you get it? I did. Good. Can you do a video of your reaction when watching Tracy Beaker Returns and the Dumping Ground episodes? I could, but the video might get taken down because it features content from the BBC. Um, like I uploaded my old, my old show reel and that got like taken down. Uh, this is like before I even started vlogging, but yeah, because of the content being belonging to the BBC, I'm not sure whether I'd be allowed to do it, unfortunately. <laughs> I like the episode, I think, from season two, that was where Tyler's mum was visiting. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> I like the Hope episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, Tom and Joe went to a uh, restaurant and ate dinner. When they were done, they paid for the food and left. But Tom and Joe didn't pay for food. Who did? Wednesday, the name of the third person. Oh, I knew that one. I actually didn't know that one. Uh, Joe, please say my name backwards. I am having an... Incha? An injection? 
on Tuesday and I'm scared. Someone, something please. Ron Ail. Ron Ail. Ron Ail? Is that Eleanor backwards? Ron Ail? I don't know. Series two when you screamed in the bath. <laughs> yeah. Which one was it? Which series was it where I found a snake in my room? <laughs> what? There was like, because Mo had a magic egg which turned out to be a snake. He thought it was an invisible bird. I managed to see that show reel before it disappeared. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, that's series one. Can you say my name backwards? You bot. You bot. I'm not going to try and say futuristic backwards. <laughs> I'm sorry, Toby. <laughs> And endurance with the TV. Yeah, that one was cool. Is Dumping on back next week? I don't actually know when it's on, Mr. Morgan. Oh, yeah, the one with Johnny who tackled the mugger and then thought about the army. Yeah, uh, that one was G.I. Johnny, was it? I enjoyed that one. You go at red, but stop at green. What am I? Watermelon. You eat the. Charlie, the point of, of riddles is that you don't tell us the answer because <laughs> I, I, I want to guess it myself. But it is a very clever one. I'm not sure if I would have guessed watermelon. Mm. I'm back next week. Oh, that was what I was looking for. I don't know. Yeah, it was called Beasts, I think, and it was a milk snake, and it got called Snake. Ah. Wait, didn't we call the snake Rocky or something? Oh, I think we called it Mike. Was it nice to see the old cast again? Yeah, it was really good, Toby. Um, it was really good to get back uh, in on it all. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Are you back for good or just for one ep? It was just for the one episode. Um, but yeah, it was still good. Um, there for two weeks filming, and I really enjoyed it. Checked on Sky, it doesn't appear to show for next week, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know when it's on. Does it say at the end of the... What's call it? At the end of the trailer? I am losing my train of thought. Uh, no, it got called Mike. Sorry, I got the words mixed up. All oh, right, we did call it Mike. It's Rocky, I think. What's this then when you made forwards? Whammy Hodge, you should know. Oh, I think I do know. It's Joe Moore. Woo! That's kind of funny. Joe, I have a riddle for you, okay? We are a pair. We can dart here and there. Though we always stay in one place. We can smile or shed tears. Show our pleasure or fears. What are we? We are a pair, so there's two. Yeah. So we always stay in one place. We can smile our shed tears. Eyes! It's eyes, right? Charlie? Tell me it's eyes. I am singing for my year group on Monday. Good luck, Eleanor. It just says coming soon. All right, never mind then. <laughs> McFarlane almost was on the plane that crashed into the Twin Towers. Jeez. Ow. Almost. <laughs> I wonder why he didn't get it. Yay, it's eyes. Charlie, I knew it. Have you got any more riddles? Because that was really fun. I like riddles. What? I like riddles. Do you know any? No. My internet went. For a sec. Ah. Who is your favourite cast member apart from Joe Moore because you can't beat him? Toby, that's a very good question. <laughs> I'm flattered. Um, but I couldn't really choose a favourite. It's like, I don't know, you're like a family when you get there. Say this backwards. Eodge Wham. Joe Moore. <laughs> So 
Seth was drunk the night before and had a hangover. Oh, and that's why he missed the plane. Wow. It's not fit. I don't know what is. Next live stream, you can do a riddles with the moors. <gasps> yeah! And everyone in the comments can think of a riddle and then bring it, and then we'll have a, like, a riddle session. That'd be cool. <laughs> I really like riddles. Riddle two, what jumps higher than a building? Superman is able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. I remember that from the cartoon when I was a kid. <laughs> the one time being drunk saved the life. Yeah, true. Yeah, I have loads of riddles. Natasha, have you got any now? We got four minutes left of the live stream. So uh, if anyone's got any now off the top of their head, go for it. I can hear Dad playing the guitar downstairs and it's really off putting. Can you hear it? <laughs> you, you can't escape it, honestly. You're back in the dumping ground. Labour. Uh, you are right, for one episode, or two maybe. It's either one or two, depending on how they edited it. But yeah, that was, uh, I've got something to tell you. That was it. <laughs> it just came now. You made it with three minutes to spare. So, hi. <laughs> Oh, do you know who that is? No. Do you know? I'll give you a clue, it's from Harry Potter. Oh, Not Hedwig, no. That's the owl. Hmm? That's the owl. Yeah. It's Bookbeak. Shh, I knew. <laughs> oh my god. Bookbeak! What never asks questions but always gets answered? The phone! Uh, who can shave three times a day and still grow a beard? I don't know. Tails. Ah, oh, hi Tails. That's a really cute teddy. These aren't mine, by the way. These are Jack's. <laughs> I don't know why they're in here. They're in a bin bag. I think they're going to go up to the loft. I'll wind up his tail and then fly away. <laughs> oh, we got Hedwig. Your voice is so calming. Thank you, Sienna. It's been, it's been called a lot of things, but calming was never one of them. It could equally be a phone, to be fair, Natasha, but yours, yours also makes sense. <laughs> I was screaming when I saw you in the preview. <laughs> oh dear. I'm getting all these teddies thrown at me. See that long you can have a Oh. A barber can shave three times a beard a day, but still grow a tip beard. True. Is that Mickey? <laughs> Pirate Mickey? Oh, of course they're Jacks. They are! Despite no, me holding them. They them. are Jacks. Shout out, please. Labour, Nissa, Rizwan. Oh, don't knock it, we're not. Hedwig. Right. Uh, oh, and attack. Eh. Poor people have it, uh, poor people have it, rich people need it, if you eat it, you die. Oh, I feel like I know this one. Poor people have it, rich people need it, if you eat it, you die. Ah, I've forgotten it, Natasha. Uh, don't tell me and I'll, I'll think of it for next week. Because we've reached the end of the live stream now anyway. So, me, Pikachu, Shadow, this guy. Mickey and Hedwig are all going to say bye. Oh, and Courtney is as well. <laughs> bye, Courtney. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. And we shall all see you next week. Bye. bye.